woman occupies no parking zone, construction workers get revenge. No parking is easy enough to understand, but one entitled woman thought the rules didn't apply to her. After she decided to do what she wanted, a construction worker knew exactly how to get revenge. Luckily for us, he took to Reddit to tell the rest of the world about it. In his post, Reddit user Clunch first explained that he's a foreman for a new house built at a kinda strange location. The house is 250 feet up a hill, accessible only by a footpath, which all of the materials must go up. In other words, they are literally carrying an entire house, piece by piece, up the hill by hand. One of their saving graces has been two parking spots at the bottom of the hill. The spots are just for them and clearly marked with official no parking signs. However, with an elementary school not far away, parents think it's okay to use the spots at least a couple times a day. The foreman explained, if someone is parked in the spots and we don't have a delivery or a need to park a truck, I will let it go. However, when the spots are needed, if there's someone parked there, he will ask them nicely to move. Most of the time they do so immediately. Until today, he wrote. After the lumber delivery driver called to inform him that he was close by, the foreman went to the loading spot to make sure it was clear. Seeing a car was parked in front of the no parking sign, he approached to let the driver know that she needed to move because they had a delivery coming any minute and needed the space. Her reaction wasn't what he expected, to say the least. She scoffs at me and rudely states back, I'll just be a few minutes and your truck isn't here, take a chill pill dude, he recalled. Before he could respond, the giant lumber truck came around the corner, but the woman had put her window up in hopes of ignoring him. I put on my best customer service smile and wave at her through the window, she put it down halfway and angrily shouts what, he wrote. By now the truck has pulled up alongside her car and I politely ask her again, with a stronger tone of voice to move her vehicle, reminding her that she is illegally parked in a tow-away zone, he continued. Then she gives me this wonderful idea, she says, can't you guys just unload around me? Jesus, it's not that hard. So, the foreman smiled and walked away as the brilliant plan formed in his head. I instruct the delivery driver to park as closely to her as possible and block her in with the porta potty that is at one end of our reserved spots and the parked car that is parked just adjacent to our spots on the other end. He smiles because he immediately gets what I'm trying to do and proceeds to expertly block this lady and her car into a little two parking spot jail, the foreman explained. As his guys unstrap the lumber and begin humping material up the hill, the foreman called the police parking enforcement to let them know the situation. I wasn't trying to get her in trouble, I just wanted a record of why we were blocking part of the street so we don't get in trouble with the city, he said. As they waited for the officer to arrive, the woman's child showed up. Mom is just now realizing that the lumber truck is parked so close she can't get out of her driver door to meet her kid, the foreman wrote. She awkwardly clambers across the inside of her car and stumbles out the passenger door, shooting glaring looks at me and the truck driver in the process. She loads her kid into the back and then begins to realize that she has no way of leaving. She storms up to the men to inform them that she's in a big hurry and they need to move their damn truck right away. Before the foreman can respond, the delivery driver grins and tells the woman that the lumber on the truck has been unstrapped and, per company policy, he can't move the truck with an unsecured load on it. The woman loses it, screaming obscenities. FK your policy I have somewhere to be, she barked, to which the foreman responded, can't you just pull around it? It's not that hard, with a big smile on his face. Realizing he turned her own words around on her, she shouts, FK you. With the parking enforcement officer just arriving, the mad mom gets in her car, slams it into reverse, stomps the gas, and crashes into the porta potty, knocking it over. She then throws the car into drive and attempts to mount the curb and drive on the sidewalk, getting halfway over the curb before she gets stuck, as everyone stares in disbelief. I can hear her screaming obscenities over the idling truck from inside her car. The officer promptly walks up to the door of the car and orders her out. My favorite part of the entire thing is watching her face go to shock as she realized she just did all of that in front of a police officer. She gets slapped in cuffs as the parking officer calls for a second unit and she is promptly sat on the very curb she tried to drive over, the foreman wrote. After more yelling and even lying to the officers, telling them she was told she could stay there and was never asked to move, things only got worse for the woman. By the end of the ordeal, she was arrested, charged with child endangerment, her kid was in the back of the car the whole time, reckless driving, destruction of property, the porta potty, and driving on a suspended license. On top of all that she also got her car towed, the kid went home with his grandma and she went to spend some quality time in a cell, the foreman concluded his post. I think next time she'll probably think twice about parking in a tow-away zone if she ever gets a license again. As for the rest of us, let this serve as a reminder, don't take an inconvenient situation and make it worse with progressively bad decisions.